What's up YouTube, what's happening? Welcome back to another vlog. So today we're going to be replacing brake pads on my car front and back. Uh, we're not going to be changing the brake this and for you American rotors, we're not going to be changing them as they're fine. So today I'm going to show you how to install brake pads on a M3, M4, um, any car that's basically got the M Performance brake, uh, brake calipers. It's going to be easy, so it's going to be the same procedure anyway. So for like, a, for example, for a 135 or a 325, going to be all the same anyway so um, I'll show you how to do that so make sure you stay tuned here it is guys some of the things that you'll need you need a breaker bar 17 mil um, socket hammer two flat heads you need some punches um, these are the brake pads the weights on the top here are the holes on the brake pads for um, the pin to slide through so you can hold the pads in these are the back obviously, these are the fronts. You'll need some maintenance spray, some copper grease. This is a C63 caliper, so I'm gonna show you it's the same procedure anyway. I don't know if this is a Brembo caliper, it most probably is anyway. Um, here's the pin I was talking about and the clip. So basically the pin goes in from this side of the caliper, as you can see the clip, uh, the pin's there. Slides to the pad first, then under the clip, and then through the second pad and it comes out this end here I don't know if you can see it um, this has tension here so it'll hold the pad in and that keeps the pad in so it's easy as that and to take the pad out you need this punch put it through here hammer it and then it'll come out but as this has got brake dust and seized slightly so what I'd do is I'd normally spray um, some maintenance spray on on the whole pin and through this end here so it'll unseize it slightly the pad the pin will come out um, you release this clip and then release that pin there so and the pads out you don't need to take the caliper off as easy as that I'm out the, car now. the weather's nice so I'm working outside um, I'm not gonna be using no air tools I'm gonna do it as most people wouldn't have air tools outside the house or if you're doing it yourself so I'm gonna do it the normal way um, the easy well the hard way so I'm not going to be using no air tools. See on this caliper, you can see the pins right there. So we just got to take that pin out. And then the pads are out. You don't need to take the caliper off. So what we're going to do first is undo the bolts uh, with the breaker bar. So don't jack the vehicle first. Loosen the bolts first and then you jack the vehicle up. The wheel bolts are loose now so the next step is to um, jack up the vehicle the vehicles on its jacking point so now I'm gonna jack the vehicle up yeah so ties off uh, I've got light with me so you can have a look my brake pads are very low and um, here's the pin that I was talking about and if you do guys want to change um, your rotors there'll be a bit, basically because I've got spaces there'll be a, a screw behind here I think it's an Allen key or a Torx 30 I'm not too sure um, but the other thing is to remove the caliper is just these two bolts I think it's a 17 mil basically this bolt here and this one right here which is just remove the caliper it's easy as that to remove the rotor there's no carrier for the caliper or anything like the other models so um, before we um, before we remove the pins we've got to push the pistons back okay normally there's a special tool for that I have got that tool but I'm not going to use that tool today because most of you guys might not have that tool so that what we're going to do is lift up the hood the bonnet and um, open up the cap for the uh, brake fluid so the pressure's out so there's no pressure when you're pushing the piston back. Okay, so we'll do that next. I've got a lot of brake fluid in here, so I will have to take most of it out because as soon as I push the pistons back, the brake fluid is going to leak out and leak everywhere, and we don't want that. As you guys can see, I've got the screwdriver in between the pad and the disc. Um, it's a flathead, so you'll see the calip uh, brake pad. 
going back. So keep an eye on it. You can see it's gone all the way to the back. So let's do the other side now. So it's in between the gap. Okay, that's sorted. As you can see, the pads have been moved back. So I'm gonna remove the pin now. But I'm gonna, before I do that, I'm gonna go remove some brake fluid. Cause I know it'll be at the top of the reservoir of the tank now. Okay, we're gonna be removing the pins now. So make sure you've got a punch with you. I'm gonna spray some WD uh, maintenance spray here anyway. And remember how the clip fits, because if you if you put that clip in wrong, the pads are not going to sit. There you go, the pin's out. I don't know if you can see from that angle, but... I've released the pins. Um, it's a good idea to have some pliers so you can just release them from the back. There you go, the pins, most of it's come out now. Okay, so um, I'm gonna stop the recording here. I'm gonna remove the rest of the pin and then I'll show you how the clip's removed. The, ki the clip will just automatically come out once you've removed the pin. Okay, the pins are out. The pins sit like this, so this little groove is meant to sit in the center of this clip not like that okay so that's how it sits it's easy like that make sure you don't fit it upside down because some people do make that mistake like this so what I'm gonna do next is because I don't have no new um, pins and I'm not gonna be putting new pins on I'm just gonna get some grit paper and sand these down and take the all the grit off this um, pin and clip and the pads, yeah, they are, they're out now. You can see the difference if I can hold them like that. How much pad is left? As you can see, I've cleaned up the clip and the pin compared to this pin here. Don't use a um, high coarse paper, um, you could use something like a 180, 240 or 320 to just clean it up. So that's sorted now so it'll just slide straight through, you won't have no um, issues getting it through. If your pin's damaged or got play in there so make sure you change it, um, it is good to have a spare if you need it, I don't need it on this, I have got spares but I don't need it because this one's fine, there's no play in this clip. So I'm going to just fit everything back on, um, I'm going to slide the new pads in and then this goes in first and then the pins go in straight after. Okay I'm going to copper grease the pads, the back of the pads, so basically here and then the pins a bit later on. Um, but I'm going to do the pads first, I'm not going to do it right now because I can't hold my camera and do that because it's messy. But here's the copper grease. So I'll do that off camera and then um, once the pads are in and the clips and the pins in, um, I'll show you guys. But that's it for now. So the pins are in, as you can see they're in tight. So make sure you um, hammer them in from the back, tap them in so they're completely gone in, they don't come out loose. Um, there you go, it's all sorted. Now it's time to put the tire back on. Okay guys, another thing. Um, I'm on the driver side of the vehicle in the USLB passenger side. Here is the brake pad um, rear sensor. I'm gonna be using the same one as I'm gonna be resetting the same one. But if you're replacing it, or if you do break it, the wire comes across here along this arm then it goes down the back subframe you'll have to remove this bolt here um, it's a 10mm plastic bolt and then an 8mm bolt and you'll get access to a box there. I don't know if you can see it it's right here and you just unplug it and plug the new one in I'm gonna use the small flathead to take it out I'm, not, I'm gonna do it off camera because um, I need two hands for that and the old brake fluid you remove can you see it's dirty um, I wouldn't put this back in so make sure you guys don't put put the old brake fluid back in um, 
make sure you put the right brake fluid in it'll say on top of the cap which brake fluid goes in for example it'll be on my car it's stop four um, I will be upgrading my brake fluid to top 5.1 which is a high boiling point brake fluid and it's normally for track days so I will be upgrading mine so I'm gonna do this off camera and I'll speak to you guys soon yo what's happening guys the brakes are finally done front and back and let me tell you the car is just on point now the brakes is the car just stops as soon as you just tap the pedal it's just there boom uh, before there used to be a fade in there um, it could have been because of the brake pads I had I'm not too sure but the review on the brake pads I checked after I bought them and they weren't the best people were complaining that they used to squeak and this and that and it did and before you buy brake pads now make sure you check the review on them before buying them and I've gone for some good brands this time around upgrading your brake flu fluid would be a, a big part if you've got a nice fast car then up upgrading your brake fluid is a big thing and um, you'll have a high boiling point depending on which one you go for I've gone for the 5.1 which is a um, dot yeah it's a high it's got a high boiling point and that's a track day and off um, road use so yeah it's got a high boiling point and changing the rubber pipes the brake pipes to um, the stainless steel ones makes a big big difference because the pipes warm up and um, they expand the rubber pipes do and it could split if you're on a track and that's one reason why I didn't go on a track because um, I drive my car hard and take it to its limits and the brakes you used to feel it that there's a fade in there now um, it's just brilliant so I could take the car on a track day and I wouldn't have no issues yeah so um, I think most people or what I used to do anyway I used to upgrade um, my intercooler, airbox, uh, exhaust system, remap, do this and that and I never used to touch the brakes but I think that would be my main priority now before doing anything is sewing out the brakes first and then doing a um, doing everything else later on it makes a big difference so I hope you guys like this video and I hope I've covered everything if I have brilliant if I have it I'm really sorry if you like this video give it a thumbs up make sure you hit the subscribe button and i'll see you guys very soon with some more content see you later